uh, hi guys in this video we are going to see how the tank circuit works actually what is meant by tank circuit where it is used and how it works that's what we are going to see in this quick video and before that uh, I will just it's good to refresh about what is meant by undamped oscillations and the damped oscillations and uh, we'll see the frequency of tank circuit also how it depends upon the uh, various components okay so let's get into refresh about the what is mean by undamped oscillations and damped oscillations whatever you have seen in left side this is called damped oscillations and this is the undamped right side is the undamped oscillations as you can see that in damped oscillations the left side one it ha in initially it has a some considerable amount of magnitude the way the waveforms the it has a considerable amount of magnitude and eventually it reaches towards zero right so it's uh, whereas in this uh, undamped oscillations it's continuously it's indefinite amount of time it is uh, the waveforms are having same magnitude and frequency so for practical and reliable applications electronic circuits needs the undamped uh, undamped oscillations mostly right so we need to create the undamped oscillations that's what one uh, just uh, refresh about this what is meant by damped oscillations what are we are seeing left left hand side and the undamped oscillations what is in that right hand side okay so just to go into the what is meant by tank circuit the definition of tank circuit is the circuit which produces the electrical oscillations of any desired frequency so any desired frequency it has to produce the continuous oscillations is called uh, oscillatory circuit or tank circuit the circuit whatever you are seeing is it's called a tuned oscillator tuned collector oscillator and uh, here that uh, parallel combination of l1 and c1 is the right c uh, capacitor and inductor that is called a tank circuit see tank circuit is not a standalone circuit it's a part of the uh, oscillator circuit okay in electronics so oscillator circuit so for a filter circuit is part of power electronic circuit and power supply circuit correct and uh, over voltage protection circuit means that's a part of the power supply circuit like that tank circuit is the part of the oscillator circuit okay and the tank circuit is nothing but the parallel combination of a capacitor and the inductor that's called tank circuit or oscillator circuit which produces continuous oscillations okay with this one uh, i think you, you are clear about what is meant by tank circuit okay a simple parallel combination of capacitor and inductor is called a tank circuit okay so now let us see how uh, it produces the oscillatory waveforms how the tank circuit works okay so you see the very first figure this one uh, to understand this operation uh, let us consider that the capacitor is fully charged using a, a source a dc source okay and it's charged and it is connected to the in parallel with the uh, inductor uh, through a switch sw okay and uh, already charged capacitor is connected with the inductor that's all so and uh, how it is charged means the top plate is uh, uh, more positive with respect to bottom plate so there is a voltage uh, difference between the top plate to bottom plate that means energy is stored in the form of electrostatic field okay uh, <coughs> so it charges uh, capacitor is charged here now come to the second figure here so when the switch is closed the capacitor got a closed path okay so it starts to discharge through a inductor when the current flows through the inductor a electromagnetic field will be generated around the inductor coils okay so energy will be transferring from electrostatic energy of the capacitor to the electromagnetic field of the inductor uh, i have mentioned that uh, arrow mark that is a conventional current direction means electrons will flow from other direction i am saying the, i mentioned the conventional current direction okay and the third figure let us see the third figure when the uh, capacitor is fully discharged the inductor having the maximum current in it right so when the capacitor is uh, eventually keep on fully discharged the capacitor will reach its maximum uh, current flows through it and uh, at this moment i would like to remove the property of uh, inductor so inductor will not uh, similar to resistance that just in uh, in instantaneously accepting the current uh, to flow through it it will oppose the sudden change in current okay so 
and uh, when the current here when it comes into the when the energy is transferred from capacitor to inductor and when it's uh, completely uh, discharged capacitor discharged then uh, obviously the current flow through the inductor will stop right so b at this moment as per lenz law the counter emf will be generated it means it will oppose the change in uh, flow of current current is coming and suddenly it's stopping means it will oppose right so it tries to uh, push the current in the same direction that means it's coming from towards from top to bottom right in the same direction the current will keep on going that means that collapsing magnetic field will start to go in this down direction and it's going to charge the bottom plate of the capacitor that's what that means the capacitor is getting recharged in opposite direction okay so in the at this point i think you will be very much clear okay so when the capacitor is fully charged that means bottom plate is more positive with respect to uh, top plate now the capacitor start to discharge that means once it's fully charged it start to discharge that means from electrostatic field in the electromagnetic field in the inductor is uh, moved to transfer to the electrostatic field of the capacitor in opposite direction now it's once again discharging capacitor is uh, discharging in opposite direction the current direction i have mentioned here right so it is a cycle in a cycle first uh, charged capacitor is transferring the energy from capacitor to inductor then inductor is transferring the energy to back to the capacitor in opposite direction and then capacitor once again sending to inductor and inductor once again what will happen it will send in the, uh, the previous version what are the figure number one it will charge in that capacitor in other direction so the cycle will keep on happening but remember one thing at this moment there is no ideal components either uh, inductor or capacitor inductor always having that inbuilt resistant resistive losses right the same way capacitor also having the dielectric losses so for every cycle every time it's transferring the energy some small part of the energy is going to be wasted right that energy loss will happen so slowly that uh, magnitude of the waveform the oscillating oscillation will keep on com coming down and it reaches into zero uh, at some p after some long time right so that means it is generating the uh, damped oscillations it should not be happen in that way it should have generated the undamped oscillations how to make this tank circuit into undamped oscillation means we have to apply a small amount of voltage at the periodic at a certain amount of time so that the whatever the uh, losses is it will be getting compensated and uh, the frequency of the tuned circuit that is the uh, equation will be 1 by 2 pi square root of lc you can see here from this equation that uh, frequency is indirectly proportional to the inductor and the capacitor that you have to remember it so the oscillating frequency how frequently oscillating frequency is how frequently it's transferring from energy from inductor to capacitor that one so when inductor is uh, or capacitor is having a huge value it takes more time if you take the uh, instead of small capacitor big capacitor it takes more time to get fully charged and it will take more time to fully discharge the same way for inductor also correct so uh, time period will be more when the components if you select the b mm, large value of components whereas the frequency will be reducing that's why frequency is indirectly proportional to the uh, value of capacitance and inductance this was the tank circuit guys if you are uh, anything want to be familiar with oscillating circuits you have to well aware of the what is in the tank circuit how it performs all the transistor based the lc uh, oscillators lc oscillator means that is a tank oscillator the l and c which uh, some way it's having a parallel combination in some other circuit of the oscillators the uh, concept will be same this one only how it's go getting energy that's what it having a, a difference uh, in transistor operations will be the oscillators uh, that's all about the uh, tank circuits guys thanks for uh, watching this video uh, please subscribe this uh, channel uh, to get in to stay in with us guys if you have any doubts still uh, in the concept um, please mention in that comment section i will reply in the your uh, uh, doubts uh, take care yeah bye